Has the weather report ever been wrong for you? Have you ever had to call flight service and file an IFR flight plan in flight? As a child of the four flight era, this is a relatively new experience for me. But you have to stay on your toes, and hey, we're always learning in this aviation game. Join me as I fly down to see my 98-year-old grandfather and learn some lessons on the way. flight today down to Mobile to see my grandfather, 98 years old. Never know how many of these chances you'll get, so I'm going to take advantage of some really nice flying weather today. Go spend the day with him. Having availability of general aviation like this definitely makes those kinds of trips possible. Central Executive Traffic, Saratoga 08, Romeo departing runway 18. Alright, runway 18, we got 18 on the pavement, 18 on the iPad, 18 on the, Jeep, the uh, HSI. Coming up. Instruments in the green, full power airspeed's alive. Pitch for 90 and climb. There's 500, we'll drop the flaps, landing lights off, fuel pump off, lower the nose, pull our prop back to 2600 for the climb. Huntsville Executive Traffic, Sarah Tigger, the Eight Romeo will be departing your pattern to the south. Huntsville's there. Huntsville approach, November 4508 Romeo. Number 4508 Romeo, Hunts approach. Number 4508 Romeo, off of Executive, will be VFR to Mike Oscar Bravo at 8500, and I'm a PA32. Number 08 Romeo, what altitude did you say you were coming to? 8500, zero Romeo. Number 08 Romeo, Hunts altimeter is 3018, squawk 1305. 1305, passing 2300, zero 08 Romeo. Image at 507, the traffic's no factor. Huntsville Executive Airport is uh, 12 o'clock and about 1, 5 miles. Looking for coming to 507. Our 4508 Romeo, your radar contact about 3 miles south of the Huntsville Executive Airport, altitude in case 2500. Climb your vehicle requested altitude and resume on navigation. Altitude position check, 08 Romeo. So I got the order a little bit wrong on the VFR call up flight following there. Um, I should have gone. Departure, destination, aircraft type, then altitude. Instead, I went departure, destination, altitude, aircraft type. As he was typing it in, he forgot what the altitude was by the time he got to that part. So, so there is. 062 squawk 0121, hunt altimeter is uh, 3018. Redstone Arsenal, and you can see the rockets. They're just off to the side. Number 127 Alpha Whiskey. I'm not showing a flight plan in the system for you. Where did you say you're headed? Another beautiful day to fly. Here is the Ledges Golf Course. Down Number 7062, you're going to contact about 55. Coming up on. Uh, 0062, you're going to be a full stop at Executive. Cruise altitude, 8,500 here. And we'll pull it back to 2,400. All right, Fox we are North. leaned out. Thank you for your help. Got one more 13 gallons an hour. At 140 knots, a little 143 knots true. All right, so we'll settle in for long haul. Got uh, two hours left en route. Birmingham approach, 4508, Romeo 8500. 
Romeo, Birmingham approach, Birmingham altimeter 3019. Should be a VFR flight all the way down. There, there was a question of some uh, mist and fog uh, advisories down Air south, but when I looked at right the, there, the rucks Kelsey, out, it's, it, it wasn't consistent with that. So. About 3, cleared out of us from A18 approach. I think it'll still be VFR. Uh, it'll be in the uh, lear. Uh, I get down there, then I'll see if I can pick up a IFR to get below. So. The clouds are starting to fill in. What was supposed to be a scattered layer is going to look like it's broken. And then down around Mobile, some of these are looking more broken to overcast. So thinking about picking up an IFR clearance. Number 2100, Victor, contact Montgomery approach 124.0. 124.0 for 1 Zulu Victor, thank you. Air Sheriff 361, contact Atlanta Center 127.3. Point seven three, Air Sheriff 361. Flight Service November 4508, Romeo. November 4508, Romeo, man. Uh, coming in broken for 4508, Romeo, but uh, looking to uh, pick up an IFR clearance to Mike Oscar Bravo from Oscar Kilo Whiskey VOR at 8000. I gotta admit, some of the difficulties with calling up flight service were mine. I was using the wrong phraseology, but the reception was terrible and communication was just awful uh, with difficulties me understanding him, him understanding me. And all the time, I'm still trying to monitor flight following the picture. I don't miss a call from ATC. Answer radio 4508, Romeo is still broken. Number 9, whiskey's here at traffic. Number 4508, Romeo, how do you copy, Spencer? Uh, copy 4 Romeo. Traffic looking 9, whiskey. Number 4508, Romeo, what can I do for you? Uh, yes, uh, currently VFR 8500 just uh, west of Birmingham, but uh, looking to get an IFR clearance from the Brookwood VOR Oscar Kilo Whiskey to Mobile Mike Oscar Bravo. So again, my fault. Here I should have said, I want to file an IFR flight plan. Instead, I confused him asking for an IFR clearance. And, uh, November 4th, Romeo, are you looking for the Santa's frequency? No, I was looking to pick up an en route IFR flight plan, convert over from VFR. Zero, Romeo. Okay, I'm just sure you want to file an IFR flight plan? A firm file an IFR flight plan, zero, Romeo. IFR flight three, Romeo, I'm ready. I don't know about you, but as a child of the Magenta Line and Four Flight, I have never filled one of these out by hand. Usually I just plan my flight, convert it over to the flights page in Four Flight, and then click the file button with all of my previous ICAO information, name, etc. already stored. So yeah, I was a bit confused at this point. Yeah, 4508 Romeo B, IFR from Oscar Kilo Whiskey to Mike Oscar Bravo at 8000. I'm the first flight to raid Romeo at uh, Anderson Radio. I'm uh, ready for your flight plan. Go ahead with the flight plan. Uh, do you need some help? Uh, do you know the field that uh, are required or not? Uh, yeah, I'm not certain on the exact order of the fields. Uh, if you can give me a hand, Jeremy. Alright, first flight to raid Romeo. Say your type aircraft and navigational equipment for IQ. Type, type aircraft is a PA 32. Navigational equipment is Slant Golf. So yeah, I'm aware we've been using IKO format, which is ridiculously complex, but I was looking for something quick and short just to get this filed. Okay, November 4-5-3, Romeo, we've been filing ICAO flight plan for about three years. Do you need the ICAO navigational equipment and the uh, transponder code? And here's why. Okay, yeah, we've got uh, Bravo Golf Romeo Sierra Yankee, Bravo 2 Echo Lima, Bravo 2 Charlie 2 Delta 2 Oscar 2 Sierra 1. Okay, say again, uh, performance-based navigation. This is way too complicated. Bravo 2, Charlie 2, Delta 2, Oscar 2, Sierra 1. Uh, 453, Romeo, say dirt speed. Chair speed, 140 knots. Uh, 453, Romeo, will be your total time in this fuel on board, people on board. Uh, one fuel on board, and we have four hours of fuel on board. Uh, four, Romeo, and that will be your total time in this. Uh, we have one hour and 30 minutes remaining, zero, Romeo. Uh, 453, Romeo, say final last name, a contact telephone number, home base of the aircraft and the aircraft caller. Last name is. I know this information is required, but phone terrible reception seven. led to multiple readbacks, delays, difficulties in understanding. And home base is Mike Delta Quebec. Okay, so I have the phone number. Okay, 
traffic. Uh, sir, I got the phone number. This is, uh, uh, I'm not getting it. Uh, please slow down your speech. This is getting ridiculous, and I'm starting to get frustrated here. Three. And number 4508, Ron, you say the aircraft color? White and red. That is unnecessary. November 4508, Romeo, and the rule of fly going direct. Affirmative. November 4508, Romeo, Radio 5 and file. Follow weather reports uh, are requested and uh, talk to Luz altimeter 3016. Appreciate your help, dear Air Romeo, today. Why not just file IFR, you say? Well, I wanted the flexibility of routing and altitudes, and it looked to be a beautiful VFR day. Oh, I know. Why not file IFR, but don't pick it up, and then halfway through, if you discover you need it, you can request it then. Well, the problem is if you're several facilities down the line, they may not be able to find your flight plan since it printed out at your original departure airport. What about requesting a pop-up through approach or center? Well, depending on how busy they are, they may or may not be willing to give it to you. Plus, some facilities, if you're going several facilities down the line, don't want to take on that responsibility without picking up all of the required SAR information like your name, your plane color, etc. One tip I did get when I was talking to people after this was file IFR, but when you first call up, tell them you want to be VFR, and they'll convert you to a VFR altitude. All the information remains in the system, and then if you want to pick up an IFR and convert back over later, it's probably a little bit easier to convince ATC for a pop-up since you can tell them that you originally filed IFR and they just need to convert you back over to that. All the information's in the system. Birmingham approach number 4508, Romeo. 4508, Romeo, Birmingham approach, go ahead. I just filed a uh, IFR plan with flight service. Clouds are starting to thicken up, so I'd like to go IFR uh, to Mike Oscar Bravo uh, at 8,000, if possible, zero, Romeo. Roger, stand by, let me look up the clearance. Uh, 4508, Romeo, you're cleared to uh, Mike Oscar Bravo Airport via direct, descent maintain 8,000. Clear to Mike Oscar Bravo Direct 8450 from you. So, I have a flight plan en route rather than asking Birmingham to file it for me because I'd be, be transitioning Roger. out of Birmingham through a different center and into the Mobile Charlie. So, uh, if you're staying in their airspace, they usually don't mind, but they're not wild about filing an en route pop up that goes through multiple different facilities. So. So that's why I went to flight service, but man, that was unnecessarily complicated because I normally file through four flight. That plus reception to flight service is a bit challenging as well. The whole process took about 10 minutes and really almost 20 miles of flying. So, so got to pay attention to the weather. Um, again, the forecast was for scattered, and then even the uh, ruck soundings were looking to be more kind of few to scattered. Here's the actual ruck soundings. You can see what started out as a scatter layer at 15 Zulu turned into a broken to overcast layer between 16 and 17 Zulu. And then cleared back up to scattered at 18 Zulu. But starting to fill in a little bit more, more of a broken layer and, and then uh, actually overcast in a couple of areas down near Mobile. So. All right, well, we're cleared direct to Mobile. The MOAs are not active today, I guess. Uh, that's good. Um, so we got about another hour left en route, and we'll see what the weather looks like when we get a little closer. So we're about 45 minutes outside of Mobile. And you can see the, this broken layer starting to fill in. From Missouri, Bravo, Romeo, climbing maintain one 6,000, 16,000. Um, so I think that was a good call to uh, go IFR, because we'll have to get down through this. This is the kind of stuff that when I was a VFR pilot before I had my instrument rating, I hated flying over the top of. You could find a hole to get down if you needed to. Um, like there's one right there. Uncomfortable feeling. November 4508 Romeo for traffic center maintain 7000, mobile altimeter 3013. 7000 to 3013, 08 Romeo. November 4508 Romeo, contact Houston Center. On 127.65, good day. 2765, good day, 08 Romeo. Houston Center, November 4508, Romeo out of 7500 for 7000. 08 Romeo, Houston Center, Roger, altimeter 3013. Hopefully we'll stay above most of this just for comfort. Yeah, I think we'll be right at the tops of it. 4508 Romeo, traffic uh, going to be about 10 o'clock, 10 miles uh, northwestbound. It's a uh, bonanza at 8. Okay, we'll be looking for it, 08 Romeo. 
Yeah, that's who they were descending me out of to get out of his way. Because I knew I was going to be coming down anyway, so I got him in sight. All right, let's see if we can get mobile weather. Track distance, 2,800 scattered. Ceiling, 3,500 broken. 4,500 broken. Temperature 28, 2.19er. Altimeter 3013. I have left runway 15 approach in use. Finding departing runway 15 and runway 18. Simultaneous approach to use. Bird advisory is in effect. Read back all short instructions. Advising this contact information, Foxtrot. All right, so we got uh, Foxtrot at Mobile. 4508, Romeo, just maintain 6,000. 6,000, 08, Romeo. 4508, Romeo, connect mobile approach, 118.5, good day. Uh, 4508, Romeo is out of 6,300 for 6,000, and we have Fox Trot. 4508, Romeo, mobile approach, uh, Rogers, and maintain 4,000 fake vectors for the ILS. 4,000 and expect vectors for the ILS, uh, 0, Romeo. All right, let's go ahead and load in the procedure for the ILS in mobile. It's 1-5. We'll take it from Kayat. All right, let's go ahead and brief our approach here. Just in case we need it, we'll be VFR, I think, but. All right, so approach plate. We have ILS runway 15 at Mobile. That's correct. Nav radios are 4322, Foxtrot, contact. Eastern Center, 127.65. Good radios are set. We'll go ahead and put our tower in here, 18.3. And we'll put ground over here, that's 21.9. All right, procedure is loaded and confirmed. Community 4232, five maintain one zero thousand. All right, CDA source is currently on GPS, that is correct. Data we've gotten, we got Fox and Trot. Altimeter, it's set. Approach course will auto slew. Final approach fix is going to be Kayat. Uh, They'll probably affect me outside of that. 2210, proper contact, go port approach, 127. Minimums will be 415 feet. And missed approach straight ahead, 900 right turn, 2000. 2710, proper, go port approach, 127.5. All right, coming up on 4000. 127.5, November 7710, Papa. Number 08, Romeo, fly heading of 220, vector to final approach course. 2200, Romeo. November 9, 1 hotel, contact Houston Center. All right, so we're on vectors now, so let's go to procedure, activate approach, and let's go back to flight plan, activate leg. Waterman 528, contact Houston Center, 127.65. Have a good day. I should have requested the RNAV when they gave me the ILS. That would have made it a lot easier, but I was thinking that we would get below this and then I could cancel and just be visual approach, but I guess they're not running visuals. November 08, Romeo, descend to maintain 2000. 2000, 08, Romeo. And November 08, Romeo, just want to verify you do have the uh, weather mobile region. Uh, yes, we have Fox Trot 0, Romeo. Thank you. Number 08, Romeo, turn left, heading 195. 195, 08, Romeo. All right, so there's our turn. Oh, on the PTAC. Number 08, Romeo, seven miles from Cali, turn left, heading 180. Maintain 2,000 until established on the localizer, cleared for the ILS, runway 15 approach. Left 180, maintain 2,000 until established, cleared for the ILS, runway 15, 450, Romeo. All right, clear for the approach. Correct signal activated, yep. Got the V-lock on the localizer, that's correct. Mobile approach. Approach course is set, 145. Once we intercept, we can stay at 2,000, and then we'll be down to 20 to 1,800 at the final approach fixed. The minimums are 415. All right, there comes our localizer. We'll turn the autopilot off. And we'll follow the top of the HSI needle. Uh, give me a smooth turn on. Number 08, Romeo, contact tower 118.3. Have a good day. Over to tower, good day, 08, Romeo. Tower 4508, Romeo, ILS 15. 
Four four five zero eight Romeo Tower. The wind one four zero at one one gust one eight runway one five clear to land. Clear to land one five zero eight Romeo. All right, gumps check. Fuel switches on. Gas is on the full tank. Gears down the lock. Make sure is on the rich. Not a peak. Prop is set at twenty four hundred. Flaps to go. Seat belts and switches are secure. And we are clear to land. All right, there's our glide slope. All right, there's 500, and we've got uh, 300 feet to go. One notch of flaps. Go ahead with our second notch of flaps. Blue just a bit, that's right. A little one shear there. I don't want the power line a little long here. There we are. Zero Romeo is going to signature. 08 Romeo, Roger, you continue down to Alpha 4 and then Charlie, Charlie 3 this frequency. Alpha 4, Charlie, Charlie 3 with you, 08 Romeo. Alpha 4, Charlie, Charlie 3 with you, 08 Romeo. 